everyone welcome back to my channel today i've got a testing wilkinson's makeup for you yesterday i popped into town and i didn't even realize wilkinson's done makeup but my wilkinson's do and i've literally got enough products for a full buffet so i've kept the receipts so i can tell you but i got 12 products and they were all free for two so this whole full face cost me £23.25 in total. The only thing I don't have is a primer and that's just because I don't really like rate primers. Like, I need to actually test out a primer like half on one side and none on the other and see if they work because I just don't really rate them. Just gonna go in with my normal L'Oreal Glow Cherry. I literally use this one every time. Already done mascara and I used this brand is called Body Collection. So I used the Body Collection Lengthening Mascara and it's done quite a nice job, don't get me wrong. It's like separated all my lashes. It's just not, my lashes don't have as much volume as they normally do, but I did choose Lengthening Mascara, so that's my own problem. Um, but the mascara is really nice. Like if you see up close, it has really separated them. And I've just put some soap through my brows. I do have a brow pencil. Okay, so in my Wilkinsons, they had this eyebrow definer pencil and they literally only had three shades and it was like brown and black and the other one was like a darker brown than this so I have literally just got the shade brown so this might be too dark I mean it's broken already might be too dark I don't know what the hell okay there's the pencil just a normal standard brow pencil I only really fill in like the sparse hairs anyway so there we go i mean that's pretty good just the standard there's not really much to say it's a standard brow pencil but um i mean it was easy to use it's done the job cool now one of my favorite youtubers steph toms uses this has her everyday foundation so i am so excited to try it i think they had about eight shades this is the second lightest so this is called ecru is that what it says the light the palace one was like way too light i was like surely i'm not like the lightest one but this is only second lightest so this could this could actually be too dark for me to be fair if i can even get into it Moment of truth. Okay, it's too dark. It's fine. I can lighten it up with concealer. I mean, okay, so that's the coverage. That was with one pump and I've done like half of my face. I mean, it looks nice. It still looks very glowy and natural. I didn't even like read. Illuminating liquid foundation, light to medium buildable coverage. So... It's not going to be matte, which is good because I'm not for the matte foundation anymore. Let's do the other side. And it says light, light to medium buildable coverage. So you should be able to build it up, which is good. I mean, it's definitely too dark. Ignore that. I mean, it looks lovely and glowy. Let's do the forehead. The forehead is a tester. I've got this like spot here. It's not even a spot, it's like scabbed over. Um, so we will see if this foundation can cover that. But I mean, this is what it's looking like. What do we think? Do we think it looks nice? It is very orange, I know that, but I'm gonna like... We, we will make it work. I keep saying we'll make it work and we will. Okay. It's looking lovely and glowy. Very nice. Now again, the concealer is just called Body Collection Concealer. I went for shade Fair. They had a few different shades of this as well, which was good. And they had some darker ones for like contour. Oh, it's very, um, it feels quite watery. Does that make sense? All right, we're gonna have to like, I don't normally do highlight. I don't normally highlight with concealer, but, um, this foundation's too dark, so we need to get some like light in here. Okay, 
but that concealer has pretty much done nothing under my eyes. It's blended out fine. It's not difficult to blend out or anything. Okay. My foundation's creasing already. Right, let's go in with a little bit more under my eyes because that is... Let's just see if we can build it up. Build it up. I just want it like right in that inner corner because I do have quite dark bags. So that's not even like the concealer's fault. <laughs> it's my fault for not sleeping. Okay, so it is definitely buildable. Like, it's still quite sheer, but it looks quite natural. Like, and using the concealer everywhere, or not everywhere, on the where I want to highlight has definitely helped with the colour of the foundation. That looks nice. That looks, that does look really nice. It looks really natural. What do we think? Okay, now the only thing I couldn't get was a loose powder. And I am going to go in with my Laura Mercier just under my eye because otherwise I will literally hate this makeup because my under eyes crease like a bitch. So if I set them, then at least then I know like the rest of my makeup, it won't be that that lets it down and makes me think, oh, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Now, I did actually get a few cream products. I didn't manage to get a cream bronzer, but I did get a liquid highlighter and a cream blush. Never ever used cream blush, but I mean, what can go wrong? C liquid highlighter doesn't always agree with me. And this looks shimmery as fuck. So I don't know if I'm actually even going to like it. Let's go in with the blush first. So this is just the Body Collection Blusher Stick. Now, do I just like draw it on my face or do I put it on like a brush? What do I do? Okay, I'm just gonna like draw it on. I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. There we go. That's really nice oh i really like that how lovely does that look that looks lovely and because it's cream it just blends in so nicely oh i'm really glad i got that i might have to start using that like all the time <laughs> now we're gonna go in with this liquid highlighter it's just the body collection liquid illuminator don't even have a shade but it's like really golden i'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand that is well thick and like proper gold. Um, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna tap it in with my finger because when I, I have used like cream highlighter before and when I have, I've always just used my finger. Oh, okay, that's really pretty. Is it shimmery? No. It looked like specks of glitter, but it's not. That's actually, that's actually really pretty. And I'm just gonna go back in with that brush that I used for the blusher and just, okay, this base makeup is stunning. Love it. Oh, the Body Collection Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Light. I'm going to go in really light with this because I don't really use a lot of powder to set anyway because I like quite glowy and dewy skin. So we're just going to go in really light. I've set my under eyes so I don't need to worry about that. Just going to go in. This is very light. Oh, it's got a lot of kickback. Okay. I mean, powder is powder to me, like, what can I say? Until I see later how my oils start coming through. Can't really comment, but the powder is, like, fine. So we just got the Body Collection Matte Bronzer in Medium Dark. This might be a bit too dark for me, but we will make it work. 
I swear that's all I say. We'll make it work. It's fine. I'm just going to take a light hand. my sponge and we will bake a little bit underneath just taking a bit of that powder just and let's do a little bit of nose contour I literally do my nose up so lightly I've only recently started like doing my nose Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to take this little eyeshadow palette that I've got, which, to be honest, I completely forgot about. Um, otherwise, I would have done it first because there's bound to be some fallout. Oh, and I forgot to say, but all of these products are vegan, which is obviously really good. So, I'm just going to go in. This is the little palette. Mm -hmm, get rid of that crappy little... This is a little palette. So, I'm just going to go in with that shade. I mean, it's a bit more cool toned than I would have liked. So I'm just going to go in with the bronzer, which is literally what I always do. Just use the bronzer in my crease. Just go over that so it's a bit warmer. Then I'm just going to get some spray. And um, we're going to go in with that orangey goldy sort of i'm just gonna go in with that bronzer i don't that's a bit too cool for me that palette go in with that bronzer and just blend the edges together like that that's literally it Just a little easy little eye look for you. I'm gonna brush away that powder. Okay, blush time. Just got pink. It's just shade pink. Um and just gonna Oh, that's actually a really nice, like, peachy pink. I don't have a... There's a lot of kickback with these products, I have noticed. And then just blend all that. Okay, now I've got two highlighters. Did I? No, I didn't. I just got one, which is this. But it's not really the colour that I would normally go for. Um, it's just in the shade Pink Sand. I never go for pinky highlighters, but it was literally this or a white one. And I'm not really here for white highlighters either, so I thought... And because I've got the gold underneath, I thought maybe it won't be bad. And this has got, like, little specks of gold in. So... Oh, I can see, like, actual bits of glitter. I think that's about as best as we're going to get considering I've got a pink highlighter and I don't really like pink highlighters but it's definitely there like you can see it definitely um let's go in with a bit on my brow bone and inner corner because I can't like yeah it is like very pinky golden eh but I can't not have a highlighter on the brow bone, so. I'm going to come with some mascara because I've got all powder on my eyelashes now. So I normally like always do this just to blacken them. And I mean, this mascara, if you want long lashes and you like what long separated lashes, you will love this. This is amazing and I probably will carry on using it. I just do like something with a bit of volume as well. I like the best of both worlds, you know? Now, the last product is lipstick. Now, I don't even know. Okay, it is a liquid lipstick. And it's just in this shade. Well, I don't even think it has a shade. 
lip crush lip lip nude now this actually looks really nice so it's like a nudie sort of color okay it's more pink than nude but it's nice okay this is final phase what do we think so the base looks really nice i really like the foundation it looks lovely um highlight i obviously you know i'm not a fan of but that's my own fault the nude lip is definitely a lot pinker than i would have liked and it's very dry already and i've only just put it on mascara is nice although it is like transferring onto my lower lash line and the foundation's creased quite a lot but that happens a lot of the time it's clinging to this bit but that's very dry anyway sun king to my lines but again that's like a problem i have i mean not gonna lie the base makeup i really like i like the foundation and the cream products um maybe it's just the powder products i'm not too keen on but we will let me have a look it's 10 o'clock now i am going to use setting spray because i use setting spray for all my makeup this is a mess i ate that misguided one <coughs> Don't talk when doing the same way. This is the misguided one. Now that's made it look a lot dewier already. Um, okay. So it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go about my day and I will do a little check-in with you later, but this is what the skin's looking like. Okay, I'll see you later. Hi everyone, um, so welcome back. It is now 6.45. It is the same day, but it was just freezing, so I had to put a jumper on. Um, we're just gonna do a little check-in. So it's looking pretty good. Like, it's not come off. It's looking quite oily here, but that's like normal for me. Um, the lipstick I haven't reapplied, and you can still see some of it's on, but most of it has come off. It looks very orange, so I think it's oxidized quite a bit. It's really sunk into my smile lines, like you can see there. It normally always sinks into my smile lines, but not like that. But I mean, overall, it still looks pretty darn good. Like, let's say three favorite products. Cream blush, definitely um the foundation which i'm actually gonna go and get the lighter shade so i can mix this shade and the lighter shade because i think then that would be like my perfect shade and i do really like the foundation it's just i'm not liking it because it was so like dark and orange so i think if i get a lighter shade i will like it like this whole makeup does look nice the brow pencil i thought that was quite good for like two pound fifty i literally only fill in the sparse hairs so i only want a cheap brow pencil because I literally just do a bit of filling in so um yeah the brow pencil the foundation and the cream blush would be my three products but definitely go and check them out um i mean i've been out in this i wouldn't not go out in this and it looks pretty good the powder looks nice as well actually to be fair i'd probably use the powder again i'm sure you'll see some of these products in other videos of mine um but apart from that i hope you enjoyed the video Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.